we are go here at Spa for the feature race in FIA Formula 3. They make their way down to that source. One of the Van Amersports getting away very, very slowly. But as they come through turn number one, Francesco Pizzi trying to dive down the inside to take second place. All through nice and safely. But Zay Maloney has held on to second. Right, get ready for the drag race down to the Camel Straight. Here we go. Who's going to win? Alex Molliar in the red, diving down the inside. Great shot of them coming up through Radion there. Right, who's going to win the drag race down the Camel Straight? Who's your money on? Here we go. Is it going to be Kyle Collett in the lead? Or is it going to be Zay Maloney? Zay Maloney to the right of screen. Looks like he's going to try and dive around the outside there and runs wide down through Lake Hog. He's going to emerge. It. Oh no, Francesco Pizzi in the gravel. Francesco Pizzi's in the gravel. Comes back on into the path of Alex Smoliar. And Zay Maloney is in the lead, but is surely going to have to give that place back, Jordan. Yeah, and have to see a replay of that. They were side by side, a little bit too hot headed, but now we've got such a roadblock at the back as cars going off the track, trying to avoid each other. Onto the brakes we go, into this oh. again. Oh no, Kushmani has gone straight into the side there of Francesco Pizzi. Pizzi has gone round. Oh no, and Kushmani into the path of one of the ARTs as well. It's Victor Martins. I think he's gone into the path of. This is Maloney and Colette going straight across the chicane. Yeah, as he's gone round the outside, a saving grace for Zane. It, Colette did go off as well. They obviously reversed the position as we see Maney just missed his breaking point, took out a car in front, and then now he's tried to go right hand down across the field and taken two more cars out. Martins as well, he's going to be the passenger here, manages to avoid it, and then we've got a, a stricken car. It's completely unlucky. Now we've got a safety car out. Uh, whilst we get an instant C2. Give back a position in a safe way to Collet without losing other position. Colette surely is about to take the race lead here, already pulling out of the toe. Watch out for Zay Maloney in the background as well, but Colette is going to go flying past Oli Gertha, who will essentially be standing still here. Colette now into Lacom, goes through into the race lead. Brilliant driving there from the Brazilian. Colette leads the way as Maloney round the outside there. Zay Maloney goes into second place. Brilliant, brilliant move there from Zay Maloney time penalty going out to Colette. Caio Colette has been given a time penalty for rejoining unsafely. Stanek in the background goes round the outside of Oli Gertha. Round the outside, you can see both Trident cars trying it and Stanek goes through into third place. Gregoire Saucy, a winner here last year in Freca, on his way to winning that championship. And Gregoire Saucy, it's not been a good weekend for him at all. Safety car is out. We ride on board with Arthur Leclerc. We'll see what happens here. So two cars, yeah, they just both tangle and they both end up into the gravel. So that's just two into one, doesn't work. Up, ready on they go now. And Maloney with the yellow front wing there pulls to the outside. Is he going to go through into the lead of the race? The boy from Barbados here trying to charge through into the lead. Makes his way round the outside. Zay Maloney leads the way here at Spa. Now Stanek comes past Colette with DRS. There we see Stanek, as you say, down the inside for second place there. Gertha having to defend. Oh, Vidal is in the white there, round the outside of Smolia. Brilliant driving from the Spaniard there, very aggressive. Here comes Behrman, chucks one down the inside of his countryman, Johnny Edgar, and through he goes into fifth place. Good driving there from our winner from yesterday, Oli Behrman, goes through into fifth. Now trying to line up a move on Oliver Goethe as he comes up through Eau Rouge and Radion. There they come now. Edgar tucked in behind. Is he going to try and work with Beerman here? Or is he going to try and get back on the attack? The answer is the latter. He pulls alongside Beerman. But Beerman is the one who has the toe to Goethe. So Beerman should hold on to that position and does so.
In the background, Oli Beerman does have DRS on Oli Gertha and goes sailing past into fourth place on the road. That will become third place with that five second penalty for Kyle Collett. Looking to make history, looking to become the first driver from Barbados to win in the Formula One paddock. Zane Maloney, the boy from Barbados, makes his way out of the final corner and for the first time, he is a race winner in FIA Formula Three. The Trident driver crosses the line and wins here at Spa. Roman Stanek makes it a 1-2 for the Trident team and Kyle Collett comes across the line to finish in sixth place with that five second penalty as Oli Behrman will make it two podiums for the weekend and he is well in the fight for the championship now. He will be just one point behind Isaac Hadjar. Yes! Yes! Yes, guys! Oh my goodness, well done guys. Finally, yes! Zane Maloney is a winner here at Spa for the first time this season. Roman Stanek makes it a 1-2 for the Trident team. Oli Beerman, like Stanek, on the podium for the second time this weekend. Oli Gertha, fourth place for him. Johnny Edgar in the top five in both races. Zane Maloney a winner in FIA Formula 3. A fantastic win for Zane Maloney. Upside down yesterday but recovered today to take the win here at Spa and bring himself into contention. Just a few days before we are back, the penultimate round of the series will be in action at Zanville next weekend. For now though, from all of us at Spa, it's goodbye.